The tribes want to extend the compact and compact in place right now. However, the governor wants to go with a different version. I'm encouraging the legislature to not override that veto. And if it's really about a one year extension and a 50 50 term, they should sign the one that we've offered. Governor Kevin Stitt today urging legislators as they come back for a special session to not override a veto regarding tribal compacts, which would renew tobacco tax with tribal nations. If you want to expand the definition of um, potentially where the state would be obligated to pay um, compact fees for any gas station owned in eastern Oklahoma outside of trust land, uh, then override the veto. But if you think it should be limited to trust land only, then you should not override this, this veto. Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. with Cherokee Nation told KOCO in a statement part quote, Today we heard more threats from a governor who has refused to work on win-win solutions with tribes. The idea that the state would shut down services across eastern Oklahoma is offensive to all Oklahomans who live in Indian country, whether they are tribal citizens or not. Choctaw Nation Chief Chief Gary Batten says in part, quote, Governor Stitt's efforts to pressure the legislature into changing direction are unlikely to succeed, as he knows significant majorities voted to extend tobacco and vehicle compacts. Lawmakers clearly understand letting these agreements lapse would cost the state millions of dollars in revenue. I'm doing everything I can and, and asking and trying to explain this. I explained it to the leadership of the legislature. Hey, you don't need to run this compact because I've actually offered this 50-50 split on a one-year extension. And senators are scheduled to come back to the Capitol Monday for special session.